All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Council Member Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I would like to thank my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee are present today. We have Council Members uh, Byron, Constantinides, Deutsch, Kuhl, Reynoso, Richards, Torres, Gredenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Mo and Chair Moya. I want to thank Chair Moya, Chair Adams, and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on projects referred out of our zoning and planning subcommittees. From our zoning subcommittee, we will vote to approve LUs 333 and 334, the Caton Park Nursing Home Rezoning in Brooklyn. The applicant seeks approval of a zoning map amendment to rezone the corner of Caton Avenue and Rugby Road from an R3X district to an R6A district and a related zoning text amendment to map a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing option one and option two. These actions would allow for the expansion of the existing buildings and enclosure of the roof deck to provide new space for nursing home residents. Councilmember Eugene is in support of this application. We will, vote, we will also vote to approve LUs 338, 339, and 340, the 12 Franklin Street Tax Amendment, and the related special permit application for property in Councilmember Levin's district in Brooklyn. The zoning, text amend, the zoning text would map the subject block within an industrial business incentive area. The special permits would also allow an increase in floor area for industrial and commercial uses, modify height and setback regulations, and reduce the offset parking and loading requirements. Together, the applications would facilitate the development of a new seven-story building with retail, office, and light industrial space. Council Member Levin is in support of this application. Pursuant to Council's Rule 7.0, pursuant to Council Rule 7.90 and 11.80, we will also be filing Resolution 621 of 2018 to remove it from our calendar. This application for an authorizing resolution for franchise has been withdrawn. From our planning subcommittees, we will be voting to approve OUs 326, 327, and 328, the 461 Alabama Avenue application for property in Councilmember Byron's district in Brooklyn. HPD seeks an urban development action area designation and project approval, as well as disposition approval and an amendment to the Eastern New York uh, One Urban Renewal Plan. These actions, along with a special permit to allow community facility bulk to be applied to a non-for-profit institution with sleeping accommodations will facilitate the development of a seven-story mixed-use affordable and supportive housing development containing approximately seven apartments and community facility space. 60% of these units will be for supportive housing for the formerly homeless, and 40% of the units will and 40% of the units will be for apartments affordable to households at or below 60% of the AMI. Councilmember Barron is in support of this project. We will also vote to approve LUs 329 East Village Housing ANCP, HPD 6 approval for an urban development action area designation, project approval and disposition approval for property at 204 Avenue A and 535 East 12th Street in Manhattan. HPD also seeks approval of a 40-year Article 11 tax exemption for both properties. Approval will facilitate two fully accessible buildings with approximately 21 units affordable housing and commercial space. Out of the 21 units, 10 will become affordable cooperative units and 11 will be affordable rental units. The, building ha the buildings have been vacant due to structural issues since 2008. Council Member Rivera is supportive of this project. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Council Member Barron, would you like to speak on your project? Council Member Barron, please. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to encourage all of my colleagues to vote in the affirmative on 461 Alabama Avenue. As has been described, it will have 60% for supportive housing and the remaining 40% available for people who are at or below 60% of the AMI. As you know, I'm always very concerned that I don't engage in any projects that involve gentrification or displacement of the people who have lived through the hard times of East New York and are now seeing a turnaround. So I just encourage all of my colleagues to vote uh, I on 461 Alabama Avenue. Thank you. Thank you. Just want to recognize that we've also been joined by Councilmember Miller and Rivera. 
I will now call a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the local council members and the subcommittees to approve LUs 326, 327, 328, 329, 333, 334, 338, 339, and 340, and to file resolution 621. Will the clerk please call the roll? Matthew DiStefano, committee clerk, committee on land use. Roll call vote on the aforementioned LUs and all accompanying resolutions, as well as for resolution number 621. Chair Salamanca. I don't know. Barron. Congratulations, uh, Council Member Barron, and I vote aye, and everyone else. Had you called me? Uh, Barron. Uh, thank you. I vote aye on all. <laughs> Constantinidis. Aye. Deutsch. Aye. Ku. Aye. Miller. I vote aye. Reynoso. Richards. Sorry, that is the challenge of having a three-year-old uh, with challenges this morning, getting dressed. Uh, I happily vote aye. Congratulations, Councilmember Barron and everyone else. Torres. Aye and all. <coughs> Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Council Member Barron, congratulations. I do vote aye on all. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Rivera. Permission to explain my vote? Oh, okay. Uh, Council Member Rivera to explain her vote. Yes, I just wanted to say thank you, everyone. A, a lot of the people from this building that uh, the chair uh, described had to leave the building through no fault of their own. And so um, they were just unsafe conditions. So a lot of these people who are finally returning after all these years will be returning to an elevator building that is ADA compliant and that is, that is truly affordable. So thank you, and with that, I vote aye on all. I break down of today's land use votes. LUs number 326 through 329, 333 through 334, 338 through 340 were approved by a vote of 14 in affirmative, zero in negative, and no abstentions. Resolution 621 was filed by a vote of 14 in affirmative, zero in negative, no abstentions. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and I, staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. <laughs> 